this is it. The past 11 episodes, everything we've done throughout this whole game, it's all leading up to this moment. Two grand coalitions have formed. The India Boys. The European powers plus Japan, who at the start of the game agreed to partition India. And the Central Powers. A coalition who aren't really central in any way, it's just that this is a really convenient label with World War One. A short time ago, Russia attacked the India Boys in order to try and release India. We narrowly managed to win that war mainly due to the weakness of China, the ally that Russia brought into that conflict. After losing that war, the Russians retreated and started plotting the destruction of the whole world in a bloody world war. Wrestling India from our control is only a pretense. Russia at this point just wanted chaos and destruction, but he managed to convince the real central powers, Albion Confederation, formerly Bohemia, and Hungary. The first great war was fought between me, Scandinavia, with Burgundy against those two countries, so this is a round two in many ways. Other than the Ottoman Empire who don't happen to have a player anymore, this just leaves the two American nations. Whose side are they going to join? Well, they joined the India boys' side for some reason. Uh, I don't know why. I'm glad they did though. So this world war perfectly demonstrates a battle between a worldwide naval coalition with control over all the world's seas and a massive contiguous alliance on the land which can send troops to walk to any corner of the coalition. So now let's see the war to end all wars. Where do you guys uh, they are attacking us in India too now. They are? Where? Reinforced yeah. They haven't attacked. Okay, they have. They are we attacking. can surround that battle. Surround it. Fine. Arcadia. So uh, I'm about to hold me up now. You can split your stacks in half by the winning type. So John Cena's about to go to Agra. This is already a surround on the Russian forces in India. Holy shit. He's left Pani Pat undefended and bet and uh, Delhi. Moving to Delhi. Oh, he's attacking Jaipur. He's attacking Jaipur. Okay. I need to heal my navy and then I'll send it all over. Just Get more uh, people in the battle of Kanpur. Shot in India, India, Jaipur, attacking. That's fine, we have enough troops in that battle. We just need to make sure we have the rest of We can also surround that Russian army as well. I'm gonna try to do that. You guys stay calm. Wait, is the, is the blue line impassable? Yes. Where do you guys want my troops? India or what? I'm curious. India. India? Alright, I'm moving them over. Russia's about to attack me. How is the European front going? You guys are fine. Okay, you just need yeah, to Yeah, very fine. I lost, I lost a couple of armies and some battles, but I stabilized. Just guys, reinforce where you can. Russia is attacking me, by the way. Uh, Japan, you need to reinforce me. I'm putting my John Cena. Well, you've already got a good forward there. I'm putting him somewhere else. Stack wiped. <laughs> Oh, that's fine. The battle is stabilized now. China is attacking, but that's fine. Ignore he that. He attacked into mountains with a minus one attack. I can ask. We need more reinforcements in the northern battle there. While Russia was doing this, the Central Powers attacked Burgundy in the Western Front. Massive amounts of Albion and Hungarian troops clash against massive amounts of Burgundian and dual monarchy troops. Huge battles are unfolding here while I'm focusing on India. Next to Nepal. Right. That's where, 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 we're joining where the the, the, the Spanish are dying. Yeah, yeah. That one. Burgundy, yeah. call me in. Call me in, Burgundy. So why do you need the reinforcements? Got a bunch of stacks. You, you, you retreat it out. It's fine. Nice, nice. Okay. We can actually occupy that mountain. Japan, we need half of that army to move in. Oh wait, it's actually blocked. Uh, the one from ja Jumla can go. Dehra Doom. We need Dehra Doom. Wait, I'm gonna occupy it. Oh no, Russia is retreating there. Is it? Oh yeah, don't, don't move, don't yeah. move. Yeah, don't even try it.
Oh, guys, we got a lot of four score here. Yeah, we did. Did you win a battle in Europe? Nice. Yeah. Oh, wait, we can surround the one of the Chinese armies, though. The one that's in Hong Kong. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be a beautiful stunt if we pull it off. I've got my plus five attack general being shipped there. So with the end of the Hungarian and Albion attack into Burgundy and the Russian attack into India, that's the end of the first phase of the war, the Central Powers opening attacks. All of the Central Powers started to realise something. Attacking wasn't working. With all this late game technology, uh, defenders had something like a 10 times advantage from artillery. But Russia botched his attack into India anyway, he ended up getting his first battle surrounded. He mismanaged his troops and left provinces open, I don't know why. The Elbians and Hungarians took horrible casualties in their offensive battles into Burgundy, but they did gain some ground. Burgundy had to give up some land in the northeastern Netherlands, which he simply couldn't hold. But when the Central Powers realised the casualties they were taking, unlike World War I generals, they actually stopped and left the front stable. So after failing to break through India and Burgundy, they attacked somewhere else. There is a plane. I'm being attacked. In, sorry, I'm being attacked in Denmark. Right All right, All right. No, it's fine. He just just reinforce from your uh, just reinforce with one stack. Don't overcome. I'm gonna do also an, an attack if you want, guys. Plus five attack. Or the casualty is going. I can't really see. Uh, they're okay. They're okay. They're okay for now. Oh. Yeah. Frank, you put a few uh, individual ships in Hungarian Russian. Russian. Hi. I just got attacked somewhere. Where did I get attacked? I, he's attacking me in Finland. Oh my god, they're focusing on me. Help, guys. The Americans that have troops in, uh, in Europe, like, use your ships to help uh, Scandinavia. He's yeah. getting attacked. I'm getting attacked in Finland. Oh god, Japan has just exploded in rebels. You okay yeah, there, lad? It's been that way, man. Be that way. Actually. Oh, he's attacking me again. He's, he's, he's attacking me in two provinces in Finland now. I'm sending troops. I need more troops up here, definitely. Uh, India. So we should be. Finland's okay it's losing, for now. Japan's losing a battle in northern in Tibet. Oh no. They're attacking in Vietnam now. Uh, I'm winning for now, but I don't think I'm gonna spread, be able to hold it. Spread, spread your troops up along the uh spread your, spread your troops out. to Vietnam. Uh Japan, he's attacking Vietnam, Russia. Yeah, I know. I'm winning for right now. I'm going to my army setting up. Arcadia, are you still making money? Can you perhaps split them. those stacks in Finland so they don't take that much attrition? Any chance? Yeah, but I don't know. I didn't time split them, but I'm moving back now. Vietnam's one. Sending a human to reinforce the hammer. Cambodia's in the way. He's attacked oh, again in uh, Finland. The Hammerfest. Yeah, Finland is stabilizing thanks to American support. Much appreciated. They I'm printing out. If we could get any good gen Burgundy, defensive generals. Burgundy, Burgundian support as well. Or Do you have a good general battle? to go into Tornio? Hammerfest is one. Well, I already sent, I already sent my dude in, but he's not. We might need more reinforcements in Denmark. Alright, now I'll, I'll ship with you. Me too. I got three troops in France. Finland is stabilized, they're not attacking anymore. No, you can divert a bit. Can pause the game? Because that's yeah, in plain, that's in grassland. Don't let me get my best. It's unpaused, they unpaused it, I think. Uh, oh my god, it's not So the Central Powers decided to carry out two different offensives on my country. First of all they attacked Denmark, which I was actually reluctant to even station troops in and just let them occupy it like before, but my allies were right, mainly Spain. He was right that I should have defended it and it was possible to defend. The Albians and Hungary had so many troops, but together with help from my allies and the fact that I was defending, we were able to hold them off. The terrain in northern Finland, Norway and Sweden is really difficult to fight in, units take a long time to move and there's high attrition. The Russians also severely outnumbered me here, so again with help from my allies, mainly in this case the Arcadian Union, America, I held them off just barely. I decided to hold the northern bit of Finland instead of actually defending Finland, so I gave it up to the Russians again. I thought I was being strategically clever by giving up land for a better defensive position, but it was pointed out later that it would have been much easier to defend these two provinces. Anyway, we held off the Russian attack into Scandinavia, although most of Finland was given up. 
And here's the casualties for the Flensburg battle. Exactly double. A third of a million for us, two thirds of a million for them. This was not the best location for them to attack anyway though. Our side had naval dominance, which means we have potential for surrounding them from the sea by attacking provinces behind them and cutting them off, and so on. It would be difficult for them to hold it. Whereas their attack into northern Finland and Swedish mainland and so on was much better as a strategy. But regardless, the Central Powers lost the initiative after failing to break Scandinavia. They became really demoralised and halted all their attacks, and now it's time for the India boys to do something. So if the if the defense if the defense that will be we just gonna land and defend the Ukraine Crimea and the coast exactly. of fuck it. We're actually and gonna also, do something. We're gonna attack Hong Kong. It's gonna be amazing. Why they're so retarded? They don't have anyone defending Crimea after the last war. What is God thinking? I'm about <laughs> to land there as well. Me too. Oh man, just as you said that. Oh, the, he's moving down. He's moving. I think they're gonna move uh, like to the coast as well. But what they don't? Can you attack them on Crimea. Yeah, so I can land safely behind. Is that true? Mm -hmm. Um, I'm actually taking surprisingly low casualties, all things I'm considered. They do, I don't start about attacking. You don't even the, have the, I'm also attacking from attack ships now. as well. That's only a minus one from the terrain, which is weird. Um, right, anyway, I was going to do an attack in India against the uh, Plains Province, so I'm just going to do that. Alright, let's do it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to assemble don't, troops for them. Don't. Why don't? Don't. Don't. Every time, don't, every time I plan to do something, Ever. XDA says, no, that won't work. Do it, do it, do it. Fuck you. It's, Dude, wait, I'm gonna bring some panzers as well. Do you don't, have your phone after? Oh. Hi. Anyway, I started blasting. Bam, wow. bam. I'm, wait, moving, wait, I'm wait. moving in right now. Wait, actually, stop. I have to go through junk. You, sadly, I don't know. Over to you. I did send uh, seven stacks against one, and with, it's still. You want, what you... To bet's my fuck up because I didn't realize that uh, Lorak was a fucking border province. I thought it was cut off. Just like a little tiny inch you're right paying, there. You're that vulnerable in Tibet. You see yeah, that? I know. You see Do you want me to reinforce you? Um. That did see that blue line? They can't cross the fucking. Can't cross cliff. that blue line. Between certain mountain provinces in Victoria too, there are very small blue lines on the border which indicate you can't pass. Well in this case I've drawn a thick red line over them to show where they are here. But Japan made a little mistake here. These impassable blue lines are really easy to miss. So to cut a long story short, he ended up getting those troops there you can see cut off from the main forces. Chinese troops moved in and cut them off, but Grand Colombia of all people, along with Japan, attacked the Chinese forces there in those mountains in order to not be cut off. Thus beginning one of the most legendary battles in any of our Victoria 2 games ever. Keep an eye on they India work. now guys, there's battles and shit going on. I'm moving into Delhi because he just moved troops out of it. I oh, found it's... out in India that you're completely right about attacking. Holy fuck. Yeah. I'm just gonna... making things up dude. This Why is... am I taking more casualties if I have a better role and a better general? Hello? Is there any reason? Dude, are you sending or not? Because I don't have general in the top. I have to fucking retreat. Yeah, I can. Oh my god, my uh... army is retreating to the wrong place. Yeah. Fucking Jacobins. They're right, I I'm not gonna attack at all. I mean, fuck that. Jesus Christ. Did you get stuck? Why? Yeah. Or? Two troops. <laughs> remember what I told you, spot gun? Remember when you told me, oh, XD, stop there, I'm a proud independent spot gun. And now, look, look. Proud independent spot gun. I had two troops moving in after I retreated that I didn't stop in time and they got stack wiped. And they were at full org when you they pull went out. In. You didn't pull out in time, man. Pull out. The Central Powers complained about attacking when they did their offensive into Burgundy, and I didn't believe them. So I had to try it myself. As you can see, it was an absolute disaster. Not all doom and gloom though, due to further Russian mismanagement of his forces he left Delhi open, which was a good strategic province as well as the capital of Russia's puppet of the Mughal Empire. The Spanish landing in Crimea was much better though. 
They couldn't move very far in because Russia and Hungary did eventually move troops there. But it gave us some occupations on Russia, increasing their war exhaustion. But to really take advantage of the naval dominance that we had throughout this war, we had bigger and better plans elsewhere. How soon is the, uh, the China invasion going to begin? I've I'm doing it right now. I'm, I'm going to start landing. Oh, he's attacking. He's going to fucking reinforce that. God damn it. No, it's fine. We it's can fine. actually surround that shit. No, he's going to reinforce it from Hong Kong. Right, now we need some... to actually surround them completely. There's a, a land in Wazio, the province next to Hong Kong. It's not actually surrounded, that's it. It's fine, I'll hang in the wood. I'm landing there right now. Keep is down. Oh, oh, shit, need... eh? oh, that's gonna be a massive surroundment if he actually does pull right. that in. Look at this dude. Oh, nice. nice that's okay, nice. I need a reinforcement. Japan, a reinforcement. John Cena right, into oh, that's a massive surround, This is gonna be insane. We need reinforcements in China. This is gonna be the game deciding battle. Oh, this is such a military exploit. Oh, he lost that one. All right, that army is fully surrounded right now. Yeah. He's attacking. He's desperate, man. I'll just put my John Cena. In. Oh man, those losses. Oh boy. I'm actually planning to do another naval invasion. In uh, China. Ching Chong, the religion is wrong. If you're doing that, then nice. I'm about to land in uh, Shanghai, in Shanghai, I mean. Many should be occupied two and secure one drone. Let's not to get Let's have a war exhaustion update. I'm on 22, Albion 5, <sighs> Russia 3, Joe Monarchy 0, Burgundy 4, uh, Hungary HP 5, awesome. Spain 9, China. 11, because of those uh, 18, Russia, 3. So my war exhaustion is fucking awful right now. I'm on also, Japan, you need to... We won Hong Kong. That's pretty based, dude. How Japan, wait, can you, you actually occupy something? Based. Where? Uh, that inner mong... That pink... Guys, you know what I was thinking about? Guys, 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 listen to this. We can navally land in Siberia. Look at it. He's no, not defending it. And you can strange. sail there. No, dude, it, you can... it doesn't have ports. It, it doesn't, doesn't have, have ports. ports. Cringe. But you can just walk. There, is, there are no armies defending the That's coast, man. And once, and once you, you are landed, gonna, the forces are just gonna oh, get. He's All right, I'm, I'm still gonna try it, even if this is another. Is gonna go ahead. This is another local idea, TM. Ah, you right. gonna, you will see. Okay, you will don't see. be divided. We have enough war score for you guys to mess around. <laughs> and screw it. Can't really lose at this point. I, I can make puppet it out of the Ottoman Empire, guys. Maybe that's good. That's another local okay, idea. Where am I? <laughs> I mean, oh no, I can't do it. That battle's pull. been going on for like a year, dude. You need to pull out. Ah, uh, he said. God damn it! Stop troops in. He's never gonna stop sending troops in. It's annoying. Oh, guys, I I did it. I'm in Siberia. Okay. What? Don't attack, please. Like you're gonna. What? Land. How I'm, did I'm, you I'm get occupying there? territories. I'm occupying territories. Fuck? Local tactics. Dude, look! Dude. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> All right, I'm gonna occupy uh, the Urals. Actually, I'm gonna occupy this. You occupied a 3.89k population province. Well done. Yeah, but we can we cannot tickers on that shit. Y yeah, look at the size of the regions. <laughs> There's no way we're gonna add a ticker. Could you get into the Ural Mountains? You could actually get into the Ural Mountains. That's what I'm trying, yeah, but I, I will need I will need more help, guys. Oh my god. No, we're not helping with that now. We're focused in China. I send, send shit to Siberia. I'm serious. We're not gonna do that, so stop asking. We need to... I am going to do I'm... that. Yeah, uh, do you do it. The radio just died. Are we going out then? Don't push it, Dan. Come on. It'll be fun! We'll go out there, in the freezing wastes. Must be mad. We're not going, are we? We have to go out. It's my birthday! It is his birthday. It is his birthday. 
Well, why didn't you say so? Of course we're going out. Is it smart? Smart casual, probably. Ah, that's a spirit push. Let's give Dan the best birthday he'll ever remember. Come on then, guys, let's go. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we have fucking that. Hungarians here. We got fucking yeah, Hungarians attacking me. A few moments later. Don't Onward. work, you pull out, pull out, pull out, pull out. Full jump. Full zero. No. Where? Oh, what's that? You're pulling out of Siberia? Good job, lads. Dude, oh, right. if we would have more armies and we would re yeah. react to well, that. Yeah, 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 they attacked us. It's a complete retreat. Us, so. How are you doing in that battle? Jill get Monarchy. some... Get some transports. Holy shit. Get some yeah, ships in there. more transports, guys. Guys, if everybody would have taken the Siberia thing seriously, we would have the... Sorry, the... I didn't But no one did, you enough. have to factor in that, man. Like, we're too busy in China, we're, we're literally fighting in China all the time. We can't but just... But it was a good not... idea. Taking 15% attrition in that province, I'm gonna pull out of there. I guess you can keep occupying that 3.19k province, if you think it's you. My war exhaustion is getting higher. <laughs> The naval invasion of Siberia. Of all the things I have to analyze, like, what, wh what do I even? Right, so what happened? Well, Burgundian troops came in, landed in that coastal province that doesn't have a port. Then they moved south to try and get into the Ural Mountains, and the Central Powers happened to send Hungarian troops to deal with it, as they were the closest nearby. And what you all didn't see was the amount of attrition that the Hungarian troops had to endure on this diversion into the arctic wasteland of Siberia. Thousands of Hungarians died to attrition in order to respond to this ridiculous invasion. The province that Burgundy landed in, however, even when occupied, had a supply limit of 44, which means it can stand about one and a half stacks before attrition begins. Burgundy kept saying that if we had only sent more reinforcements and more people, he could have done better on the offensive. Well, no. Bringing in more people just means more death from attrition. So the Burgundians slowly moved south a bit, but they got into a few battles, and they lost, and pulled back pretty quickly. The enemy could easily have killed all the troops here if they had attacked the original landing province. The ones to the south would have been cut off, and future India boys' reinforcements are impossible to get there quickly, because there's no port, the units have to move from the sea, and it takes weeks. So we got off lightly there. This entire invasion was legendary. Nothing else has been seen like it in Victoria 2 history. It's insane. It's so epic, I think Sabaton are even writing a song about it. The Spanish plans around China were much better though. These were the serious fronts in the war. You saw how it all panned out, so there's no need to analyse it. I will just say that China managed their troops really badly in getting surrounded. Each of these disasters could have been prevented. That great destruction of the Chinese armies in Hong Kong showed just how vulnerable China was, so these would be the focus of the next India Boys offensives. This battle is like retarded in every sense of the world. No, but if we if we win this battle in Lodrak, you know what that means? It means we have a war score to completely deny them from ever, ever, ever. <laughs> you do too. Putting it back. <laughs> we will never yeah, but, the sales but... if we win this. Never, ever, but, never win. Never. But no one will ever win this piece of shit battle. I'm looking with a zooming glass at China if I can see any hole I can exploit. Yeah, we have an opportunity in China. <laughs> it's a nasty one. Holy shit, I, I'm gonna try this out. Tell me, what is it? Yeah, tell it's, it's like, you see those Arcadian troops? There's a, it's a called Changzhou. And there's uh. like, <laughs> it's actually connected to the sea. Yeah, I think that because I tried to move them around and I found out that I can. <laughs> oh yeah, actually I am not navally landing in Ch Changzhou. We can do it. I cannot click it, guys. I, oh my god. Oh, I'm, I'm looking at this uh, province you've just occupied, Changzhou. Yeah, it's a nasty one. It's, uh, uh, I might um, need reinforcements though. Yeah, I'll bring my I'll bring a stack or two of them. Doing a propaganda campaign now. Maybe I can get my war session. I know I've been doing it for a while. Is my war exhaustion going down now? Oof. Maybe. No. No, definitely not. <laughs> Anyways, let me guys read to you on the next operation we're planning. We can encircle a lot. 
people. Oh, yeah, I see that. I'm seeing that. We attack uh, Hunzo and we attack that 105 stack there surrounding. Pfft, you're gonna need a lot of boys for that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, don't completely abandon that blue province. Nah, I have units in the battle, like, you move in. Don't attack Hunzo. We don't, we, we don't need to attack that. Oh. Alright. But I thought the whole point was to encircle the ones in the middle, though. No, it was like it was encircled. We just to attack the two provinces, the ones that are attacked south. I'm Those are encircled. My plus five general into the battle. Hungarian troops are coming in. Okay, you retreated yeah. on the northern part. You won the northern one. Well, I'll take yeah. that. What? They fucking retreated? Yeah, it's, that's that means we can get the full ticker on that. Yeah, we can get a full ticker after yeah, we I'm like after we destroy that encircled army. We should have this, because now he won't really be able to get out of this. Stage that in circle yeah, and tell us we, we pull out in Tibet or what? What are you doing, man? Pull out of fucking Tibet then. If you pull want. out of Tibet so we can focus on other places. China is on zero war exhaustion, by the way. How the fuck is he doing that? Kind of pessimistic about this war though, because they like China not having any war exhaustion is poking me the fuck. How don't they if they've been 100% blockaded for like 10 years? Because there's a trick like Gok said it, but I don't know what. It's probably they're probably spamming election. Right, how do I change my national value and to equality? Decisions. Oh, I need to be at peace to change my national value. Bruh. Military if I enact well. women's suffrage, I will lose two war exhaustion, so there's always that. It's because they get war exhaustion, but then they get the election event, I think, that reduces it, and then it's down to zero again. And they keep doing that. I've got That's an my opinion. I've got an election going right now, maybe something will happen. Oh my god, that's my Jacobins. Oh my god, 144k in my capital. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Help. So aren't they hitting rebels though? Ah, you're fine. You're actually... Uh, my cap. You're gassing me. Fine. I'll, I'll get troops in there. Don't worry about it. I'm moving transport. I am actually getting my war exhaustion down through the Jingoist's event thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Base. It is base. My war exhaustion. Yeah, that's... And your rebels disappearing, dude. So no, no, I have zero war exhaustion. The rebellion's fine. Yeah, thanks. Thanks a lot Let's for that. Let's see any other insert. Half of my army is part of the communists, so that's a little bit yikes. Oh my god, I thought it's, it's gonna be a 100% war score because I saw like yeah, 100, 170. So. <laughs> They're probably pausing because they saw we didn't lose shit from that or something. Yeah. After about four years, this battle finally ended. The attackers, our side, Grand Colombia, Japan, finally retreated. Of course, they got all those Japanese troops who were cut off out of there first. That escape operation did not need to take four years, though. Here are the casualties. India boys, one million. Central powers, 400k. The casualties are actually quite low for how long the battle lasted, and that's because at this stage in the game, the combat width is so low in the mountains that the troops are fighting a lot less. Also, back in Europe, the dual monarchy started applying the principle of attempting to surround enemy units from the sea. Along with Spain, of course. Russia forgot to garrison some of the provinces around here, so they exploited that. They're attacking in Amer and they're attacking in China. Fuck. Oh, where? Oh, yeah. No, yeah, they stopped. Should... They just stopped. Maybe they got... Holy oh, shit, they fucked up! <laughs> That's wow. That's oh, my awesome. God. Like, I just see Arcadia all the time pulling shit like this. He just attacks a province that shouldn't be taken. He's a fucking He's a hacker, fucking... dude. What are you Holy talking about? shit. What happened? <laughs> he does it. Happen. Look at, look at Ningbo. They just doesn't... accidentally pulled out a hundred fucking thousand troops out of a fucking yeah, battle. Yeah, now we're going to that the fucking Arcade is a god, man. Like, it doesn't... This oh, song... Yeah. This song is them right now. This song is them, officially right now. Uh, yeah, one of my units got stacked white because I fucked it up, but at least it That's fine, it was worth it. Like, well, yeah, oh my yeah. god, I can't believe this. Thing. Okay, so, so, Kawabunga. Essential Powers just could not take it anymore after losing that final battle in China. They pretty much gave up, they were so demoralized after that. All the Chinese regions that we had taken now started to add up to very high amounts of war score tickers which would eventually reach 100 and win us the war automatically. It's a lot more complicated than that but it would take so long to explain. But the whole game ended here so the war never came to a real conclusion and we won't know 
the true aftermath, what the world might look like after, but the war itself was so good. We won that thing mostly due to the ingenious naval landings, mainly due to Spain. I did pretty badly in that war, I had to rely on my allies to save me when I was being attacked in Scandinavia. I only played a supporting role in all the fronts that won. The Arcadian Union went absolutely insane in China. Due to the impossibility of conventionally just attacking on borders, we had to resort to all these naval landings and we won from that because we were the navally dominant power. The Central Powers all believed that China dragged them down once more. They were pretty disappointed with his performance to say it the least. But overall the war was just really fun and interesting to play and I don't mind that we didn't get to see a peace deal at the end of it or anything, it was all just good fun. Here are the casualties for the whole war. Central Powers 5.4 million, India Boys 4.2 million. The war lasted five years, it began in 1920 and we ended the game at 1925 while it was still ongoing. The biggest battle in the war was the battle in Tibet which I've already showed you. This doesn't just conclude this war, it concludes the whole series. The actual game that this is all from is a distant memory now, it's taken me so long to do this but it's been great. Whether you've watched the whole series or you're just watching this episode because it's the best. Was it? Should I say that? Well, maybe. Then thank you very much. If you want to see more of this, subscribe, join my Discord where you can message me if you want to join some of our Victoria games, and give me money, please. One last thing I'm going to do for this series before we completely end it is an additional episode for this part. A video that will go alongside this episode featuring lots of memes and music and stuff that we can't have in a monetized video. If you're watching this sometime after it's been released then you should watch that too because it'll be out by now. And I'd highly recommend it. But yeah, anyway, uh, there will be some credits now for the game and everyone that was in it and all the things to thank. Other than that, it's over. Thank you.